and uh, I've got the two generals with me so uh, just forgive us here we've got about three or four helicopters that are hovering above us from the army the SAPS as well as some of the media helicopters as well that uh, are right above our heads right now because this is where the procession is about to is about to make its way um, uh, generals again thank you very much for staying with us just to give us a little bit of uh, background information as to all of this what we're seeing on the screen right now is where the uh, the body is going to to be placed. Give us a little bit of the background about lying in state. Why why is it that that a body must lie in state? Well, to uh, lie the body in state is a tradition that dates years and years in memorial. But it is an opportunity to allow the public to view the body of their hero, person that they are respecting very much. And it also allows that the deeds of that person be remembered or stay alive in the minds of the people, as well as for national pride. So the more they see the person, the more they think and remember the good things that he has done. And that lives forever in their minds. So that's the that's the idea behind a, a, a lying in state for for a body. And this, as we have been told, is the is the very first state funeral in the democratic dispensation that we are having in South Africa. So this is a is a massive occasion for everybody. Yes, also taking into consideration that this is the first of its kind since 1994 that we are conducting a state funeral category one, which is the funeral with full military honors. Um, are we, the, the, the body now, we are seeing uh, the helicopters hovering above us right now. And uh, as we say, we're standing at the Union building. So we're getting uh, visuals, as you can see now, we seem to not necessarily have a visual of the, uh, of the motorcade that's bringing the body through in the hearse, but uh, we certainly have uh, uh, definitely got news that it's in, the, it's in the vicinity. Now we're seeing on our screen now the, uh, the guard waiting to receive the, receive the body. So let's, let's talk about this now. Uh, what you see now is a guard of honor that uh, uh All right, now while we keep our eye on the visuals of what's happening there at the Union Buildings, let's, uh, let's uh, take a, a quick trip to Cape Town now and take a look at uh, the Union Buildings there. Uh, from there, or let's go to Cape Town rather, uh, to Jeremy Cronin who is uh, standing by there. Mr. Cronin, emotions are being evoked by what we're seeing today. History.